Right guys, I'm just going to do a quick update video, it's going to be about 5 minutes long, maybe a little bit longer, hopefully it won't be, but um, yeah, it's just an update on serving the police a court order, my video, all the links are in the description to all the files that you're going to need to do this, um, so that's on that screen there, and that's just a YouTube page, don't worry about that. But over here is what you're going to need, is here, which is the Police Property Act, 1897. And this is section 1 of this order, of this act even. Um, powers to make orders in respect of a property in the possession of the police, is what it states. Uh, I'll let you read it all through, I, I'm not going to go through it all with you. Um, and then what you do is you basically with this one is you email the court that, that's dealing with your case um, or nearest to the local constabulary that's dealing with it um, and put in writing that you would like a court hearing under this act to get your property returned to you. And it is basically, literally, it is a, as simple as that. You just email them in writing saying, I want to have a court hearing to return my property under that. And under that, um, if they want any inf more information, you know, it only took me 24 hours to get mine granted. Um, and if you're having any more trouble, um, I suggest you go look at the Magistrates Court Act, Section 48. The return of property taken from accused. Oh, well, I'm not going to go through it all with you and read it with you. Um, all the links will be in the description. They're in the description of my previous video as well. Um, all here. Look over on this screen um, so yeah uh, and then if you've got any more aggro than that then let's go to pace let's go right to the top here we go police and criminal evidence act and then we'll scroll down to the section that's relevant to us which is section 7 and it starts here which is section 7 Point one seven. Also, this section here, seven A. Uh, this section here, seven E, and this section here, seven H. All these are relevant to this sort of action against um, the corrupt criminals that are the police force. Um, so yeah, basically, I, I went to court. Um, applied for this uh, and the judge granted it um, pretty quickly actually it was within 25 minutes it was heard and granted I didn't have to say too much I didn't have to do anything the police can oppose it obviously they can oppose it and send the team in there to try to oppose it it's, it's got a few kitches to this act um, the data has to be seized from the property, i.e. it's got to have been downloaded. Once it's been downloaded, they have to return it within a reasonable time frame. And, you know, God knows what that is, a reasonable time frame. But yeah, it's no longer evidence once the data has been removed from that device and it's stored on their system. That's no longer evidence. Um, so here we go. This is what... We received back yesterday this mobile phone. Um, this mobile is what we got back. No, when I got it back, there was a SIM card taped to the back um, right here. Um, it didn't recognize my fingerprint anymore. Also, the find my phone um, bit was turned on. Also, the GPS was turned on. Um, and, it, and I never do that because 
I like to keep my privacy. My mo my mobile phones stay with me no matter where I go. I don't intend on losing them, so I don't turn the GPS on and I don't turn the Find My Phone um, bit on on it as well. So they've been turned on for some strange reason, and no longer fingerprint access worked. Um, so I've had to do uh, a hard reset on this phone. There's a lot of YouTube videos about hard resetting an Android phone, so I won't go into it too much. This is the other phone. I haven't had time to look at, charge or do anything with. This is how they came. There you go, you can see the SIM card taped to the back. Um, same with this one. SIM card taped to the back. Um, in there um yeah but the, the other weird thing was that the sd cards were still in the mobile phones um with this one in particular you've got to remove the little tray on the side with a with a little pin thing um pull the tray out which reveals the sd card and then the sim card um, so the SD, the SIM card was taped to the back, but the SD card was left in it and not removed. Uh, it's a little bit weird because they're using this one as evidence against me and they're using this one as evidence against me. Both of them had the uh, SD cards in there. Right, let's stop chatting on too much and let's get that to the, to the crux of it. And this is the actual court orders. There you go, court orders. Um, there you go. The court has heard a matter shown below and has made an order listing 15th of October. Matters and orders. According uh, application for an order in respect to the property, namely mobile phone tele or mobile telephones belonging to Mr. Spitshine 69 which has come into the possession of the police in accordance with section 1 of the Police Property Act 1980. Yeah, the order of application to return mobile phones belonging to Spitshine 69 seized by Cumbria Constabulary. Let's go to the next page. Pretty much the same. The same. Um, don't know why it's been printed out a few times but this exactly says exactly the same thing um, there's no difference um, apart from this bit here that says uh, Barry and Furness um, it doesn't say my name uh, it's a bit weird but there you go let me just cover that up again because this one says my name um, and this one is another court order but this one is to return telephones and also pay them my travel costs they weren't really dear but you know it were like for you know just under a little bit under 10 quid to travel there for the day and they've had to reimburse me that as well i haven't got that back yet as you can see by the court order it does state that they have until the 12th or 11th to reimburse that to me uh, and I can bet, yeah, that's going to be a fight. <laughs> yeah, and everybody knows it, right? So yeah, just much appreciated, y'all. Thanks for all your support. Um, just keep pushing forward, everybody. We've got the means, and, and you know, the nonce and, and, and the, the actual sense that they, these people haven't got. Um, so yeah, let's sock it to them. Yeah, like same once again. Thanks for your support. Um, it's always much appreciated be safe out there everybody know your rights always film the police love and peace out